Hello everybody and welcome to your Chem 113 review on chemical symbols of ions. My name is Jason and I work for the ASU Tutoring Center. Now what is an ion? An ion is a charged particle. What does that mean? What, is, what does it mean to be charged? Well, as I mentioned, every element is made up of protons, neutrons, and electrons. And each of these things carries with it a charge. So protons are positively charged. Electrons are negatively charged. And neutrons are, well, neutral. Kind of where they get their name from. Oops, that's not how you spell neutral. Neutrons are neutral. Okay, so typically your, your standard issue element, the element you see on the periodic table is neutral which means the number of electrons equals the number of protons. That is to say, the positive charges and the negative charges are equal to each other, so they sort of cancel out, meaning your, your element is neutral. However, you can have ions, in which ions mean you either have more protons than electrons, or you have less protons than electrons. So if you have more protons than electrons, you will be positively charged. That means you have, you have more P than E, more protons than electrons. You have more positive charges than negative charges, so overall you have a positive charge. And the negatively charged is just the other way around. Means you have more electrons than you have protons. Okay. And how we, we do these is we use plus and minus symbols. So for instance, if you had three protons and, and four electrons, okay, well, how many more electrons do you have? You have one more electron. So your overall charge would be minus one. What if you had five protons and two electrons? Well, how many more protons do you have? You have three more protons. So that means you have a plus three charge. You have more positives. And how many more positives? Well, you have three more positives. So let's say you find the overall charge of your species. Okay. So when we're talking about chemical symbols, remember chemical symbols look like this, where X is the actual element you're talking about, M is the mass number, and P is the number of protons. Well, when we're doing this for ions, we also need to include something up here. I'm just gonna give it a number sign. And that's just going to be the charge. So if you're, if you're doing the chemical symbol for an ion, you also need to include the charge in the upper right position. So let's find all of these values. So first of all, how do we find out which element we're talking about? Well, that depends on the number of protons we're working with. In this case, we have 22 protons. So if we look at our periodic table, find the big atomic number 22, that tells us what symbol we're working with, which element we're working with. So we look at our periodic table, we find 22, and we realize that corresponds to titanium, or Ti. Okay, Mass number, how do we find mass number? That's the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. So 22 protons plus 26 neutrons, mass number is 48. Number of protons that was given to us, of 22. And the charge, well, we have 22 protons and 19 electrons. 22 minus 19 is three. Is it plus or is it minus? Well, because we have more protons than we have electrons, it's going to be a positive three charge. So putting all of this together, our chemical symbol looks like this, Ti, with a mass number of 48, with 22 protons, with a plus three charge. This is what our chemical symbol looks like. Wonderful. Uh, thank you all for watching. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I work for the ASU Tutoring Centers. If you want more information about the free services we offer on all four major ASU campuses and online, please check out tutoring.asu.edu. If you wanna see more videos like this that go over specific concepts from your course, or maybe you wanna see what upcoming review sessions we have for the exams in your course, please go ahead and check out that link down below. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day.